Good day. Today we look at respiration. What is respiration and how does respiration take place? Respiration can be described as the taking in of oxygen into the body cells and utilizing that oxygen to release energy by burning food and eliminating waste products like carbon dioxide and water. So if you have a look at the equation, it shows that food and oxygen once combined will release carbon dioxide, water and energy. The process of respiration takes place within the cells of our body. So in other words, we can term it to be cellular respiration. It provides energy to the living organism. The waste product, carbon dioxide, is removed as it is harmful to the human body. Water, on the other hand, is retained as it's not harmful. Respiration is described as stated the release of energy. Breathing and respiration, what is the difference between the two? We'll have a look at that. Storage of energy takes place within special molecules called the ADP and the ATP. Two types of respiration are the aerobic that uses oxygen and anaerobic that does not use oxygen. Take a look at the diagram. It shows a cell. We have food in the form of glucose and oxygen that we breathe in through the air entering into the cell that's within our body as respiration takes place inside the cell. As a result of the oxygen and the food being utilized, energy is released, but along with energy, carbon dioxide and water are released also. What is the difference between breathing and respiration? Breathing is described as the taking in of oxygen from the air and releasing carbon dioxide. The taking or breathing in is called inspiration and breathing out and releasing of carbon dioxide is called expiration. Whereas respiration, although it involves the voluntary movement of breathing in and breathing out, it actually incorporates the release of energy by the oxidation of food molecules like glucose. The energy is then used for the maintenance and survival of an organism. We have a look at a diagram that gives a description of the function and types of respiration. Respiration, what it does, it stores energy. The two types are aerobic and anaerobic. How is energy released during respiration and that energy that is released, how is it stored? Not all energy released by organisms is actually used immediately. It is stored in the form of adenosine triphosphate molecules or ATP that have a high energy content and used later when required. Adenosine diphosphate ADP has a low energy content and inorganic phosphates that are made of phosphorus and oxygen also are utilized. All three substances are stored in cells and when used, they are, they release energy. Energy now that is released during respiration is used to make ATP molecules from ADP molecules and inorganic phosphates. Once that energy is actually made or produced, it is then stored in the ATP molecules within cells in the body. Have a look at the equation. Adenosine diphosphate molecules plus the phosphate, which are basically the inorganic phosphates, plus the energy from respiration. Once combined and utilized within the cell, give out the adenosine triphosphate molecule which provides our body with energy. 
Energy now that's released during respiration, as stated, is used to make ATP molecules from ADP molecules and inorganic phosphates. It is then stored within ATP molecules within the cells in the body. But on the other hand, the ADP molecules that have low energy can combine with the phosphate and energy from respiration to combine together to make the ATP. But the ATP molecule now, once the energy is released, is broken down into ADP plus the phosphates plus the energy that is used in the cells to build up again. So it can then be said that ADP molecules are formed from ATP molecules by absorbing energy. And ATP molecules can be converted back into ADP molecules by releasing energy. So this is a reversible reaction that takes place. I hope you've enjoyed the presentations. If you'd like to see more presentations, you can always visit us on our website at www.arrangeacademy.com. Furthermore, for a subscription, you could always check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash academy. You can subscribe to us also on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash Academy. Thank you.